you know, Alex was on a few of the shows. And that's how I found Alex Jones, and uh, I've been listening to the show ever since. Well, that's awesome, man. You know, the coolest thing about Alex is that he... I remember watching him, I guess, in like 2006, 2007. He was on all the platforms, and he, he's, he doesn't even need to go on the mainstream media, but he still does it to bring in the mainstream media viewers. And I remember watching him on whatever mainstream media program it was, and you're like, wow, this guy is actually saying stuff that makes sense. And then that's what happens is all these mainstream media people think like, oh, we're doing Alex Jones a favor by covering him. They have no actual visitors. They have no visitors on their websites and no viewers on their TV program. Alex, Infowars.com is in the billions now of views, right? So what's happening is the mainstream is migrating to the alternative media in massive, massive amounts. And it's always funny to hear people's stories like, oh, I was watching CNN and then I saw Alex or whatever, and I just realized it was totally made sense and I stopped watching CNN. It's really, really funny. Let's go to Derek in Wyoming. What's your story, Derek? Hi, thank you, sir. Yeah, I, uh, I grew up in the People's Republic of Minnesota, and I remember in high school in the 80s, I wanted to use Sutton's work and Quigley's work in history class, but somewhat politically awake in there. Hey, but Derek, I got to we're going to hold you over. We're going to come back to you in a minute. We're going to cover some news, take some more calls. It's a loaded segment in the long segment next, next, next time after the break. We'll be right back. Hillary Clinton compares rounding up illegal immigrants, quotes, to somewhat of a holocaust. We're going to play that video for you. She also bashes Snowden for <laughs> classified emails. Wow. How amazing, right? First and foremost, we're going to be taking your calls throughout this long segment. We're going to have some updates, and we're going to get right down to some immigration news. First and foremost, this long segment really is brought to you by InfoWarsLife.com. And it's ultra high quality, super powerful nutraceutical formulations at InfoWarsLife.com, like the super male vitality that keep all of this going. Plus, they're awesome. I mean, truthfully speaking, they're just the best out there, in my opinion. So I'm about to take some super mail right now. I take all of this stuff just right on my tongue, as TV viewers can see. I just gulp it down. I'll even sometimes just take a little sip like this. I love the taste. I think it's great. I think when you go out to a health food store, most of the stuff tastes terrible. InfoWars Life uses glycerin, so it tastes really good. I'm going to read you a review from Super, on Supermail from Vinny in Fresno, California. He says, I buy this product regularly. I use this product daily. It gets me through my work day. I am constantly moving from floor to floor without my daily dose of super male vitality. I feel so drained. So there's another one from Mikey in Arizona. I use a suggested dose. This product has improved my overall stamina and strength. This has also improved my demeanor and overall attitude. It has improved Physical performance. This is a remarkably effective product. My girlfriend uses Super Female Vitality, and she is very satisfied in her overall health and strength. This product has turned back the clock for me. I feel 25 years younger. Thank you, and bravo, Dr. Group. Again, all these reviews go through a group called Power Reviews, which screens them all, make sure they're verified, make sure a lot of them are verified buyers, make sure it's not spam, and checks the IPs and all that kind of stuff to make sure it's legit. You find it all at InfoWarsLife.com. Get your bottle of Super Male Vitality. Also, Deep Cleanse is back in stock. It's been out for months. It's back in in a limited run. So what I want to do, so I'm going to get back to calls here in a minute. But first, I'm going to lead off with this headline. Taxpayers fleeing Democrat-run states for Republican ones. Americans escaping high taxes and welfare states. In 2013, more than 200,000 people on net fled states with Democrat governors for ones with Republicans, according to an analysis of newly released IRS data. You know, what this ties into, and I don't believe in the uh, false left right paradigm debate, Republican versus Democrat either, but it is pretty insane how some of these so-called liberals are getting so degenerate and so, so out there and bizarre and outlandish that people can't handle it anymore. Let's go to this video clip here in which Hillary Clinton starts implying She's, she's, it's called Networks Ignore Hillary's Holocaust Invoking Boxcar Blast at GOP. Here's the clip. How would you plan on dealing with 11 million undocumented immigrants in the U.S.? Well, I'm glad you asked me that uh, because I know that there are some on the other side who um, are seriously advocating uh, to deport 11, 12 million people who are working here. I find it the height of irony that 
Uh, a party which espouses small government would want to unleash a massive law enforcement effort, including perhaps National Guard and others, to go and literally pull people out of their homes and their workplaces, round them up, put them, I don't know, in buses, boxcars, in order to take them across our border. I just find that not only absurd, but appalling. I will oppose in every way I can uh, what I consider to be nothing but a political stunt. Uh, and will also raise questions, as I'm doing today, about what the realities uh, of that kind of uh, uh, claim actually are. Look, I'm not defending the Republican Party, which has its own problems. But when Hillary Clinton says things like, the GOP is insane because they want to get rid of illegal immigrants, that's really stepping over a line. And I think that's why so many people are responding. So many people are, like this article says, fleeing Democrat-run states. I mean, I used to live in a Democrat-run state, primarily in Pennsylvania, at least Philadelphia, which is a completely Democrat blue area and city in the state of, of Pennsylvania. And let me tell you, the taxes there are insane. Even just starting a business out of your house, you have to set, pay certain city taxes and fines. I think the base rate is $250. Even if you want to have like a website domain, you're supposed to technically give them $250. That stops growth. That stops industry. When you mega tax people, especially business owners, and as a business owner, I understand this, you're, all you're doing, truthfully, is you're making them not want to hire more people. You're making them not want to help people. And even though I'm taxed at such a massive rate and I have to pay all these weird bureaucratic system taxes and everything for my own business with my different companies, including Natural Society, is... I still give money. I still donate to feed over 500,000 people every single year through different organizations that take the food at the grocery store and give it to those who need it because the grocery stores just dump tons of food out. But at the same time, it makes, me, it, makes me, uh, it makes me really question whether or not I can give every year because of the fact that they're taking all of it away in taxes and things like that. So anyway, moving on, I want to also highlight this next video in which Hillary has the audacity to come after Snowden for classified emails Right after she has her server with classified emails sitting in a bathroom with which is not even locked up or anything like that, and there's like 30 judges investigating. It's totally insane. Let's watch the second video clip. I believe that he should, uh, um, you know, return to this country, and rather than taking uh, refuge under uh, Putin, who, so far as I know, has uh, not uh, been transparent about everything Russia does, and I know a lot about what Russia does. Every time I went to Russia, I believe all of my electronic equipment on the plane with the batteries out. Uh, and so he's sought refuge in a country that is one of our real competitors for getting information about what the other does or doesn't do. He is a lawbreaker. He violated American law. He violated his duties uh, that he assumed when he took the job that he had. Uh, and if he is as um, proud of or as um, secure in his belief that what he did was the right thing, he should come home and uh, defend it. <laughs> That's Hillary right now laughing as we buy her bogus, as she insults Snowden for leaking information that the NSA is compiling every single thing we do into a database and calling us terrorists. That is funny. <laughs> this, of course, so if you're not a TV viewer, we have the Hillary pen. Hillary for president, more like Hillary for prison pen at InfoWarsStore.com. Alex has messed around with it before. You've probably heard it on the show. Such a beautiful laugh, really very soothing to the soul. Now, Snowden has responded and fired back at Hillary. And there's articles about that now on InfoWars.com. And this whole weird system is just getting a little bit too much for me. We also have another video clip I want to fire out. It's Bobby Jindal. And he says it well. He says, immigration without assimilation is invasion. This is on Face the Nation. Let's go to that clip real quick. We need to insist people that want to come to our country should come legally, should learn English, should adopt our values, roll up their sleeves and get to work. One of the things I've been emphasizing as a son of immigrants who came here legally, we need to insist on assimilation. You know, in Europe, they're not doing that. They've got huge problems. Immigration without assimilation is invasion. 
that can weaken our country. We don't need to go down the path of Europe. Let's insist on being the melting pot. Let's forget this politically correct uh, left notion that we're not a melting pot anymore. Politi political correctness is destroying the United States of America completely and destroying its focus and putting it on transgendered issues and all these weird race baiting topics that we've covered over and over again. I think it's time to shift the focus completely. And that's why I want to bring Derek back, who is patiently holding from Wyoming. I opened up the phone lines to talk about your awakening experience, escaping the mainstream media, escaping the system. And Derek, I apologize for holding you over so long, but I wanted to ask you your take on all this because it seems so obvious to me. I mean, with the Nebraska Beef Company being fined for asking if their illegal aliens were illegal aliens in the first place, is this not just so in your face? I, I can't imagine people can't see this, Derek. Yeah, well, uh, you know, a lot of them are asleep and being poisoned. You guys cover this very well. And, and you know, they're just asleep. The public's asleep. Alex covers it all the time. I've been a pretty faithful listener for a couple of years, Prison Planet TV member. Um, and, and I was looking for a venue that I woke up about five years ago because I got saved. And after that, I was kind of politically awake. I shared a little bit of that. I kind of wanted Quigley's work as a history book in 11th grade. I almost got kicked out of school. And but other than that, nutraceuticals, oil of oregano was also the one I used. I was a mechanic for years and poisoned my system by washing my hands in the solvent tank and all that welding smoke and all that good stuff. So heavy metal toxic. And then I found you guys' products. But yeah, people are half asleep, you know, and I uh, I push people to the InfoWars program and that, but it's very hard for them. So I found uh, different ways to do things. I mean, we can be activists in our own area. Uh, the Hegelian dialectic, they're really turning up the pressure now. And I've talked to older people in their 60s, um, and it's kind of spooky there because they're going to ask for the police state, these people. And well, you know, them, there, you there know. certainly are some people that are going to ask for it. But at the same time, I do think about 70% of the United States. I, I, would call it, I would call it sleepwalking in a way that they know what's going on in their bones, and they don't appreciate all of this race baiting and all this insanity by the mainstream media. They want to come together as one humanity as one humanity together and come together and say we're, we're done with all of it but they don't have the right activation the right passion Derek thanks for thank you for your call we have Rob Dew standing by in studio a and I want to bring him on the program right now via live link and bring him on to ride shotgun while we take some more of these calls and cover some more news he's gonna be hosting the fourth hour of the show today sort of an Infowars overdrive that Alex is launching Four hours every single day for the program. Rob, are you over there in Studio A? Yes, I am, Anthony. And uh, it is great to be here. Great to be doing the fourth hour of uh, four days this week now. And today, I really want to put out a message to the globalist and the vaccine pushers. So I want you uh, started the fourth hour. I want you guys to call in with your vaccine horror stories, any major side effects that you or your children experienced we have to put this information out there because this is the season right now, the fall season where they want the kids to get vaccinated. They start pushing the flu shot. And last year, I remember covering the stories of the little girls who were taking that, they were getting vaccinated for the flu shot and then dying from the same strain of flu that they were supposedly vaccinated against. So the 1-800 the number is 800-259-9231, 800-259-9231. The start of overdrive. We're going to start taking your calls. I'm going to do it the whole hour. I've got some other vaccine news that I want to cover. They now want uh, pregnant women to take the whooping cough vaccine. And I'm going to get into all the lies that they tell you to your face. Okay? We have to stop this. We have to put out our own brand of information to shove it in the face of the globalist and the mainstream media who are bought and paid for by these giant pharmaceutical companies. You know, my mind, my understanding of things has evolved a lot over the past few years. And I really didn't understand the vaccine issue for a long time. And I now I think I finally understand it. When activists say they want clean vaccines, I think that is the most hard hitting message because there's so much information out there and so much colliding nonsense and craziness about the vaccine movement, right? And about vaccines in general. What it really comes down to on the FDA website, it admits it, that these vaccines are loaded with hormones, antibiotics, different fillers and contaminants, and different cells that are known from research that it actually could be devastating to your body. So my issue with the vaccines is what's in them, is the loaded additionals that they put on top of the vaccines. And I'm wondering why they can't make clean vaccines without all these hormones and antibiotics 
and GMO particulates, such as the Gardasil vaccine, which has genetically modified recombinant uh, specimens inside of it. So why can they make it without 